Hello, hello everyone. How are you guys doing today? What's up? I'm Red and welcome back to a new episode of the Iron Man Profile. Today we're going to be doing some more gardening and I'm hopefully going to get my Fermenta armor finally as next up after Derpy we have Mayor Paul once again. So I will need a decent amount of money so that I can actually do dungeons. So I want to get... Oh, I fell. So I want to get my Fermenta armor sorted so that I can actually start properly farming and making a decent amount of money and stuff. So if we quickly look in the chest, we are... I would say more than halfway there. So we're missing seven mutant nether wards here. I think we're missing 14 enchanted cactus and then a few en enchanted brown mushroom blocks and then half a stack and a little bit of red mushroom blocks enchanted that is. And then up here, I think we're missing 20 on each side. So it's not that much. I think um, I can do that easily within the next couple of hours. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. All right, so here we are on the garden. I have also been filling in a decent amount of requests and stuff and spending my copper on composter upgrades. So we've got a couple now. And I've also been using boxes of seeds to fuel the composter as, uh, I don't know, I just find it to be the most convenient for me right now. And then I buy biofuel for fueling the composter as well as I don't really have anything else to fuel it with right now so there we go and if I'm not mistaken yeah we have enough for our next plot as well so I'm gonna go ahead and buy hmm I want to put down another mushroom farm I think so maybe this one so it's next to each other yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and buy plot 9. There we go. And then I think what I'm gonna do is have that one for red mushrooms and then this one for just brown mushrooms. I think. I don't exactly know why I decided to clear this plot right now because I am not building the mushroom farm at this very moment. I'm just gonna use that one to get the rest of the mushrooms for the fermento armor. So I feel like I just wasted a little bit of time clearing this out, but oh well, at least it's ready for whenever I decide to actually build the mushroom farm once again. But anyway, it's time for me to start harvesting some mushrooms, so uh, that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. And I'm just gonna, I think, swap around, so do like brown mushrooms and then red ones, and then go to like cactus and harvest nether warts. And then by the time I'm done with that, hopefully the mushrooms are regrown and I can just go in a loop. This farm is so broken right now as well as I had it through two plots but then I added the carrot farm so I had to remove one plot. So uh, yeah I haven't fixed that yet but it doesn't matter because I'm gonna be rebuilding it anyway so. But yeah I'm just gonna do this for a little while. Okay this is actually crazy. I just harvested the mushrooms and they're almost fully regrown. This new growth rate changes are kind of insane not gonna lie like that's crazy. Every other time when I did mushrooms, this the first row wouldn't even be like half grown and now it's almost fully grown. That's uh, wow. I'm impressed, not gonna lie. But I'm still gonna go and do cactus and nether warts as well, so I'm getting everything at the same time. I also like the changes they made to the agronomy sacks, so you can now have the cactus green, croppies, hay bales, poisonous potatoes and even squash in the agronomy sack. And then in the enchanted agronomy sack, you also have the enchanted poisonous potatoes. So that's very, very nice. And then there is also some new sacks that you can buy for bits, which is really good. And I think there is also a dragon one. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, large dragon sack. Which uh, is something that we will have to craft at some point, but uh, not anytime soon because they're quite expensive. But you can basically store a bunch of stuff from the end in there. So uh, yeah, that's something that we will get at some point. There we go. I've done some more farming. So let's go to the island and place it into its spots to see how much we're still missing. So brown mushrooms, we actually have all of them. So that's one thing done. Alright, so when it comes to enchanted red mushroom blocks, we're still missing 24 of them. So that's something that we're gonna work on next. And then if we place 7 over there, that's all of the mutant nether wards for the chest plate, I believe. Let me see. Chest plate, yes, 15. 
and then we need 10 more enchanted cactuses and then for the leggings i think it's 20 on each side yeah so yeah 40 more mutant nether words for the leggings and we're gonna be done that's crazy. I can't believe we're gonna have Fermento. And then from all the dungeon runs that I've been doing, I have three recombobulators saved for the three pieces of Fermento that I'll be using. And then at some point, I'll also obviously recomb the shoes, but it's not my main priority right now. So yeah, that's that. I'm gonna go back to farming. I also just quickly want to say that, yes, I am doing all of this farming during Mayor Derpy as I needed something else to do other than foraging. Honestly, I've been foraging so much that all I can see is wood everywhere. So uh, yeah, I needed a little bit of a pace change or terrain change. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, that's why I'm doing some farming. So yeah, I'm also getting more skill XP for farming. So 50%. And I am currently almost farming 48. So... I might even get to 50 this derpy, who knows? I want to make a decent amount of money so that I can do dungeons. So I was just emptying my minions because it's still derpy, so minions have double output and they keep getting filled, so I have to empty them very, very frequently. And I realized we have enough redstone to actually upgrade our personal compactor, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. So we currently have the personal compactor 5000. And then we need 28 enchanted redstone blocks for the personal compactor 6000. And uh, there it is. So we can go ahead and do that. That's why I love minions. Otherwise I would have had to mine all of this redstone, but thankfully I don't. And uh, we can go ahead and craft this. And now we have a bunch more slots. Wow, okay. I didn't realize it added that many slots. I thought it was just extra two, but it's actually extra, what, four? I swear it was way less. Did they change that? That's crazy. Okay. I mean, we take it, definitely. And it's gonna help me so much with, like, farming and everything as well. So, uh, I'm glad we got this. All right, I've been farming for a little while now, and I have all the cactus that I need, all the red mushroom blocks that I need, and now the only thing that I'm missing is 12 mutant nether words. So I'm gonna quickly go into my nether word farm and grind that, and then we are gonna have the fermenter armor. Honestly, still can't believe it. Like, I thought it was gonna take us way longer than it actually did. So uh, yeah, I'm very happy with that. And, uh, oh, I have the wrong speed. Oops. Let's change that. And, uh, yeah, I'm kind of sad or disappointed that I didn't grind this before. It was just, um, I don't know, the thought of needing to grind so many mushrooms was kind of scaring me. And when I was doing it for, like, the visitor offers and stuff, it just, it seemed to take so long to actually fill in the request. But now that I actually done it, it wasn't bad at all. I don't know what I was scared of. So uh, yeah, I'm glad I did it. And after we get the fermento armor, we're gonna have to work on some reforges. So doing a lot of visitor offers. And then also trying to max out our tools. So farming contests. And then all the like in Anita stuff that we have to max out. Like the farming level cap and the extra fortune drops. And then what else do we need? We need books like enchantments on our tools and then enchantments on our equipment. So you know what? We will eventually get there slowly, but surely. I just crafted my last mutant nether word and that means we have everything for fermenter armor. Oh my God. Okay. So right now in my squash armor and my level 100 elephant with the yellow bandana, I have 703 farming fortune without holding any tools. Now I'm gonna take off my armor and we're gonna go upgrade it. So 703 is the number to remember. Let me get my boots as well. And let's do island. And then let me, let me put everything in its slots just to make sure I've got everything. So 32 there. And then we have to put... Uh... Wait, I've got one too much even. Well, okay. Well, it is what it is. Okay. Yeah, I think we've got everything. 
I I am kind of nervous. I don't know why, but let me put these away. Let me put this one away as well. Let me put my tools away. And let's grab everything out, shall we? Alright, first thing I'm gonna craft is the helmet. So for the helmet, if I can find all the materials and where they are, I think it's this one. So condensed fermento, 32 enchanted sugar cane, 32 red enchanted mushroom blocks, and 32 brown enchanted mushroom blocks. Oh my god, there it is. Bustling fermento helmet. Oh my god. So it goes from 31 fortune to 38 and then on the reforge it goes from 6 to 8 as well. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we're doing this, but boom. Oh my god. Also leveled up my carpentry, but that's not that important. Let's go away from the sheep though, they're kind of noisy. And then let's do the chest plate next. So... Uh, how was this chest plate again? I think it's like this. Alright, I think this is the recipe for the chest plate. Yes, it is. There we go. Bustling fermento chest plate. Wait, the chest plate has more. The chest plate goes from 36 to 43. I thought all of the pieces had the same farming fortune, but I guess not. But here we go, let's craft it. Boom. Two quarters, and then let's do leggings next. There we go, fermento leggings. These also have 43, so I'm not sure why the helmet only has 38. We'll see how much the boots have, but... Here we go, leggings, three quarters, fermento, and then we've got boots as well. There we go. Wait, boots only have 30. Oh, because I don't have the bustling reforge on them. That makes sense. So it would be 38 otherwise. Okay. Yeah, I guess the chest plate and the leggings have more for some reason. But here we go. And now if I put off my rancher's boots. New achievement unlocked and... Oh my god, we are full fermento. That's crazy. I actually can't believe we got it. And now all I have to do is recom the three pieces that we're going to be using. So the helmet, the chest plate, and the leggings. And then the boots we'll put away for now. So I'm just gonna... Where do we put them? I'll put them here. Yeah. And then let's make our way to hub. Let's go to the anvil. I don't even know how much the reforge is gonna cost us, to be honest. Oh wait, it doesn't cost anything? I thought recalming stuff had a price, but I guess not. But look at that beautiful pink helmet. It's mythic now, so it goes from legendary. And we gain another two farming fortune as well, so uh, there we go. And then let's do the chest plate next. There we go. And last but not least, We've got our leggings. Beautiful. And then uh, we will do boots at some point as well. I think I might recom my rancher's boots as well once I get a uh, recom for that. I actually don't know if you can recom rancher's boots, but I would imagine so. Alright, now let's go to garden. And let's check our farming fortune. So earlier in squash we had 703 if I'm not mistaken. And now we've got 740. So we got an extra 37 farming fortune. That's crazy. How much? I wonder how much farming fortune I have if I hold my sugarcane hoe. So my sugarcane hoe is the one that's like the most maxed. And I've got 831 farming fortune. I'm very happy with that. And now, like I said before, I'm just going to be grinding and filling in all these requests. Also, making compost so that we can get more plots. I want to unlock all of the plots, so that's something that we're working towards. And then also the crop upgrades. No, not that. We will need this. So currently, most of mine are at 5 out of 9. 
because I don't have garden level 12 yet, so I can't get the next upgrade. But we're kind of close. Yeah, so we're 86% towards garden level 12. So hopefully I'll get that while I'm filling in some of these requests and just farming and stuff. But yeah, I think that's gonna do it for today. So we made quite a decent progress on the garden. And next up we have some more foraging for Mayor Derpy. And after that we're gonna have some dungeon content as well. So uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, consider subscribing or maybe even liking. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day, evening, morning, whatever it is. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!